What's going on everybody, it's Conti here with another video. Split screen fusion effects in DaVinci Resolve 15. Go to File, Import File and Import Media. Go to find some video files that you wish to use along with an image file which will provide the background content of your video file. Here I have two MP4 files and one JPEG. Ensure that you have your edit window open left click hold your left mouse button down and drag your video file down to your timeline let go of the left mouse button when the video file is in position mine is going to start at the zero mark right at the beginning left click on the video file on your timeline so that it is highlighted with a red rectangular container left click on the fusion icon you should see two nodes appearing on your screen, one which represents the input, which is the video, in this case here, my Mountains MP4 file, and the second node, which is the output, what the viewer will eventually see on screen. Go to Effects Library, left click on Tools, scroll down to Transform. Ensure that your first node to the left, which is your input, is selected. Left click then on Resize and you should see a third node appearing on your yellow line. This node should also be selected and inside the inspector window you can see the resolution of this particular video. What I'm going to do is reduce the resolution by 50%. With the resize node still selected, go back to the effects library options again and select this time transform. Left click once and your fourth node should appear. Inside the inspector window, under Tools, you should see Center X and Y at the top of your screen. I've changed X to 1 and Y to 0. It doesn't matter where your nodes are positioned on this particular interface here, as long as they are connected correctly. Go back to your media pool. I'm going to left click once on the Fireworks MP4 file. Holding my left mouse button down, I will drag it to the window below where the rest of the nodes are and let go of this underneath the node which represents the mountain video. With the input 2 node of the Fireworks still selected, repeat the process which you did for the previous mountains node in input 1, inserting a resize node and a transform node. The resize node properties 960 for the width, 540 for the height. This time for center X and Y, the 0 and 1 will be in opposite fields. In the previous video for the mountains, X was set to 1 and Y was set to 0. This time the opposite will be applied, where X is 0 and Y is 1. With the second transform node selected attached to the fireworks video, go back up to the effects library again go to composite underneath tools and select merge left click once now going back up to the final arrow on the input one line above I'm gonna left click in the second part of the final yellow arrow here where it turns blue to disconnect this particular node relationship now what I'm gonna do is left click on the grey box next to the first transform node Holding my left mouse button down, I will drag my mouse cursor to the green arrow above the Merge node. I'm now going to left click on Media Pool, and this time drag down my JPEG, which represents the background of my video file here. Again, like last time for the previous two video files, left click on the icon and drag down to the interface section containing the nodes. Let go of the left mouse button when you're in place. With the third input node still selected, go to Effects Library, Composite and Merge to insert a second merge node. I'm now going to connect the first merge node layer to the new second one by left clicking on the grey box to the right of Merge 1, holding my mouse button down and dragging to the green arrow at the top of Merge 2. And finally moving down the output node where the second merge node will be connected. As you can see in the third input node properties, when I drag my mouse cursor over this particular node, 
the resolution is the same as that of each original video file 1920 pixels wide 1080 pixels high and the result is that the content from each of the mp4 files appears in a quarter of the screen when we preview this video thank you very much for watching i hope that video was useful to you to support this channel please like and subscribe join me soon for another video take care